So in this problem, I have y equals sine of 2x. <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do with any of the graphs or any of math formula is I'm actually going to apply the formula right above it. So I'm going to write our formula right above it. y equals a sine b of x. Notice I don't have a c because there's no parentheses. I don't have a d value. I don't have like a plus 5 or minus 6. Okay. So in this problem, I'm asked to find the amplitude. A, the absolute value of A is my amplitude. Well, there is no number here. I can put a number, which is what class? One. one. The amplitude is one. Now, in this problem, it asks you to find the period. The period has a formula. Partner B, tell partner A, what's the formula? John B, tell us the formula. So my B value is in front of the X. Do you see how I can easily identify that when I write the formula right above it? So now I just do a substitution. 2 pi over 2. And I can just simplify there. My answer is pi. What does that mean for our graphs? Eventually we're going to recognize that we just graphed, like say, cosine. Normally that graph's going to finish in 2 pi, but it's kind of like that student who uh, messed around and failed the class. Mm -hmm. And then you're like a senior, and now you got to take like adult school, apex, zero period. Do you know what I'm saying? No, you have less time to finish that graph. Your period is a lot shorter to complete what you didn't finish the regular time. 